So I got sent this club a few months ago and I never got around to reviewing it, but I've seen other channels review it and they got loads of views. So I thought, you know what? It's my time to test it. And it's this, the Mazzle Wedge. The sand wedge that you can actually see through. It's got these big cuts through the face and it's designed to be most efficient out of the bunker. It's supposed to glide through the sand and help pick your golf ball up almost like a, a raking action. So I'm gonna test it in the bunker, but first I'm gonna hit some chips with it. I'm gonna hit some shots from long range, see how much it spins, because this face feels like sandpaper. It's crazy. This comes from the same brand of, remember the gold driver that I tested a few months back and I thought it was actually pretty good, it was from Amazon. This is from that same brand, Mazzle. Um, it is completely illegal for tournament play. The grooves are too far apart and apparently in clubs you cannot have see-through gaps like this because basically I can look straight through you, through the golf club. So it is deemed illegal, but hey, let's have a bit of fun with it. I've not hit it once yet. I'm intrigued. Let's see how it performs. Let's hit a few little chips. It's unbelievably weird looking face. It's got a massively wide sole on it, which actually, in some regards, gives me a bit of confidence on a shot like this. I have no idea how it's going to react. Oh, that is weird. That is so strange. Um, let's give it a few more hits. I'm not sure what I think on that first impression. That's better. It makes, and I don't know if you can pick it up on the audio, it makes like a bit of a tingy noise when you hit it. It like tings off the face. I'm not sure so far. Uh, they're okay. This is not really what this club's designed for, any of those little short chips. First impression, it makes a very weird noise when you hit it, like a really loud ting. It looks very unusual. Even though it's got a big flat bottom, that leading edge feels like it digs in a little bit. They're the chip shots. Let's hit some fuller shots, because I'm sure this face is gonna make the ball spin like crazy before taking it in the bunker. Let's hit some full shots. This is a 56 degree, so I'm gonna hit it from about 90 yards away. If you didn't hear that on the shot, listen to the noise of it. I'll try and pick it up on the mic. Like a like a ringing bell, it's like a cowbell. It's such an unusual sound. You know what? Before I do actually hit some fuller shots with it, I just want to see if out of a more thicker, lusher lie, if these kind of gaps in the face make any difference. And then we'll hit some fuller shots. Because I feel like those chips were okay, but the lie was fairly you know normal. These are horrible lies. How does it perform out of a, a lie like this? Because that is a nasty little lie. Are these, this grid-like face, will it cut through the grass differently? Let's see. Not a bad little shot. Quite like that, actually. <laughs> oh, that noise is horrendous. That was nice, though. Weirdly, I can see, because of the, the face, Honestly, it is literally like sandpaper. I'm rubbing my finger across it and I can feel it almost cutting through my skin. It feels like it should spin like crazy. Oh, that was horrible. That's, the, that's its big issue. That front edge, as much as there's loads of bottom on the golf club, that leading edge feels like a knife. If you get it wrong, it just feels like it digs into the ground too much. Let's just try and open it up a little bit, use that bounce. Yeah, you definitely just got to get used to it because that front of the club digs in so deep. Right, let's hit some spinners. I'm pretty confident this club is going to spin like crazy. So here we go, full shots with the Mazzle wedge. I've come out to 90 yards because it's a 56 degree, so it's a, a rough distance for this club. Now, my guess on spin is it should produce a lot because honestly, the face feels so unbelievably rough. My only concern is, do I still get the same distance? Because effectively, there's half the club face to contact the ball. Will that mean I don't hit it as far? Let's find out. Five shots. Let's see how much it spins. It's such an unusual looking club. And the sound is horrendous. Okay, that's a... 
just a slight miss green to the right. Give me that one as a warm up shot. It honestly sounds like a cowbell when I make contact with it. It sounds horrendous. Uh, okay. And I feel like I've hit that shorter than what I would have done normally. Let's see if we can uh, get it up to the flag. Keeps leaking to the right. That's literally just plugged into the green, no spin at all. Bare for distance that time. Gotta be honest with you, I'm not exactly overwhelmed yet with the uh, performance of this wedge. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's not particularly impress me. Will it do out the bunkers? We well, shall see next. Let's go three more. Come on, get to the green, get to the flag. The better golf shot. So this is my development so far. It definitely doesn't go as far as a normal sand wedge. I would easily be getting to the flag from here with my 56 degree sand wedge. And I am absolutely struggling to get back to that flag. And every one of them has leaked to the right. This is terrible. Okay, last shot. Could it show me any level of spin into this green? So far, it's performed horrendously. I feel like I have to aim left and hit it as hard as I can. Um, how to summarise the full shots? quite simple actually terrible so out of five shots there I hit the green twice this one and the one a bit further up but that flag was only 90 yards away where I was hitting from these golf balls have literally traveled 75 yards tops seems to go absolutely nowhere and I'm not the greatest wedge player in the world but I'm better than that every one of them seemed to be weak everyone seemed to leak to the right Let's get it in the bunker, because that's really what this club's designed for. Does it cut through the sand any better? It might be the only thing it can actually do well. So now we're in the bunker, apparently the natural home for this mazzle wedge. And it reckons, because of the design of the face, it stops, this is a normal wedge, you can see sand just kind of rests on the face, where apparently the mazzle wedge, as sand hits it, it just goes through the face if it was lighter straight through the face and apparently that's an issue that's what they say let's hit some wedge shots with the muzzle to see how effective it is in a bunker will the sand just glide through the face and it makes it easier to hit out the sand let's find out right here we go so i wasn't massively impressed with the chip shots and certainly was very unimpressed with the full shots can the muzzle wedge make up for it in the sand Will it glide through the sand and make it easier to hit? Let's find out. Well, the ball came out. It went a little bit too far, but it came out. I didn't really sense a different feeling than normal, I'll be honest. Seems to be going a bit too far. Okay, let me just ease off the power a touch. Maybe, just maybe, the muzzle wedge is going through the sand easier, so I don't have to hit it as hard. Let's see if that's the case. That was actually quite nice. <laughs> it might just, might just give it a reason for this wedge's existence, because that was actually quite nice through the sand. I'm not sensing that the sand's just going, that the club's going through the sand much easier, but it does definitely feel different. Oh, but if you don't hit the sand, then guess what? The face, the sand can't go through the face. That wasn't the best one. Right, two more. I'm gonna hit way too much sand this time. It definitely comes out well when struck. Let's go one more.
Well, what can I say? Got every ball out the bunker, but honestly, I think there's absolutely no purpose this wedge. Did the sand go through the face easier? Mm, maybe. Did it improve performance much? Not really. For me, there's no reason this wedge should exist. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, lots more to come. And that was the Mazzle Wedge. We'll see you next time.